Rose Reed. She's a musician, a mother, and an activist whose doctors say secondhand smoke from neighbors is slowly killing her. I think they just don't care. She lives in government-funded housing, and after a year of submitting reasonable accommodation forms asking for a non-smoking option, no is a word she's heard often. Maybe in their heart their intentions were good and there's just too many road roadblocks. I don't know how to rationalize their perspective. They don't realize that smoke travels. In fact, research from the statewide nonprofit group to alleviate smoke pollution shows 50% of smoke travels into apartments living near smokers. That smoke seeps through the walls, through the floors, through the door openings. It comes in from every direction. Rich has been on the board of directors for GASP for 20 years. He's been appealing to city council alongside Reed's daughter, Elizabeth. Uh, Rose Reed is most likely going to die from this because they refuse to do anything to abide by her sensitivity to the tobacco smoke. Is it worth killing her to for the inconvenience of changing things. The issue of tobacco is bigger than the reeds. The federal HUD says tobacco smoke migrates between units and causes respiratory illness, heart disease, and other adverse health effects. They're encouraging public authorities to adopt non-smoking policies, and 28 cities in Colorado already have. It would be extremely easy for them to just say, we will take HUD's recommendation and change it. They only need 30 days to change the House rules.